Style girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. If you are new here and in today's video, girl, we are finally bringing everything down or out, I should say, for fall and winter. I'm so excited. This is definitely one of my favorite videos to watch and also to create. It's like going shopping and I absolutely love it. I'm reminded of everything that I have for fall that I put away that I couldn't see. I'm reminded once I bring those things back out like, oh, it's about to be a good season. Um, I'm also reminded of how much work and effort I put into building my wardrobe because that is important to me. That is what I like to do. And I just feel like I've done a great job. Um, I'm still working on intentionally purchasing items to add to my wardrobe that are valuable and that I that I know I'm gonna wear time and time again. So um, anyways, this upcoming season, I am focusing on that. I'm focusing on only adding items that I know I'm gonna wear. So before we get like to shopping shopping, I would like to pull out and see what I already have, just remind myself what I already have, and then as well as put away all of the um, the summer and spring items that I bought out, like the cold, uh, the warm weather clothing. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with. It's kind of like a little bit in the disarray in here. Not too much because I've been doing really well at like just cleaning up behind myself after I make content, just putting things back. Um, but I do, I did just do laundry and I did just film a few uh, thrifting reels on Instagram. I have taken out my fall blazers because if you follow me on Instagram, you know, okay? That's all I gotta say. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. This is what's going on on the shoe and bag side of the closet. Um, right here, I just have some spring and summer blazers that I'm going to be putting away. And then here, I just have some shoes that I kind of need to just put up and add to the wall, take down those pink Zara shoes. I just sold them on Poshmark. They're gonna be leaving out of here. We're gonna start on the bag and shoe wall. It is just the easiest, not much needs to be done except for me taking off my die hard, no, without a doubt, like summer shoes. <music> I'm going to sell these silver boots I love them but to be honest I don't wear, I haven't worn them I don't wear them as much the only times I've worn them is to build an outfit for content purposes the bottoms they're not worn but you can tell that I wore them outside at some point um, I just I don't wear them as much and I feel like I can definitely use like a more comfortable pair of metallic silver boots. Unpopular opinion, I'm kind of over metallic just a little bit. Um, I feel like the metallic pieces that are for sale um, in the retail market it are pieces that more so cater to like the Renaissance tour and let's be honest like our whole life is not the Renaissance tour. so. For me, a metallic pair of boots, you know, I'll wear them, but would I wear them as much as I would like? Probably not. I'm just kind of like being more realistic about my style. Even though my style, I love everything like extra. I love metallic shiny things. Um, I'm finding that even though I love them, I don't know that they're being reached for as much as they need to be reached for compared or compared to the price that I pay. So if I pay 100 and say these cost $150, they didn't. But if they did, um, would I be able to wear these as much as I feel like I should be able to wear a $150 price item? I hope that makes sense. I just don't feel like I'm wearing my silver boots enough. So I think I'm gonna put these on Poshmark. We're gonna put these to the side. Ironically, I wear these way more than I wear the metallic boots. So that has me side eyeing my metallic boots like, why are you really here? Who sent you, Beyonce? Hmm. As I reorganize these shelves, I'm also gonna be dusting off any 
um, leather that has dust on it. I'm using this Coach Leather Cleaner. I also have a Coach Leather Moisturizer that I can use. I just really want to keep my leather boots in really good condition. So if I see they just need a little bit of love and care um, before the season starts or before I start wearing them for fall, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. These are like a pair of my favorite, favorite boots and I've had them for, for probably like three years now. Um, honestly, these were like a really, really good purchase and I plan to wear, continue wearing them so I wanna take as much care of them as I can. Pardon me if I'm breathing hard, girl. It's a lot of up and down. Um, but this is what we have so far for the shoes. I've taken out essentially all of my like warm weather shoes. And I've added a few booties to the mix. Like these three. One, two, three. They just got added back. I put a shelf for my loafers over there. I have some full cover black loafers. Some loafer mules in black gold and like a cream color. I also added my Bottega Rocket Mule dupes. I'll link those down below girls. Those are really, really good. Added those up there and then I have a red pair on the way as well. So when those get here, I probably will take out that clear mule right there and replace it with that. I'm not sure. I don't think this is like the final arrangement for the shoes I kind of like it a little bit more color coordinated like I would want this row to be somewhere over here because of the colors but it's whatever I just really want to get it done and now we're gonna move on to the bags oh here are the summer shoes that I'm putting away not much but they clearly are summer shoes so those will be going away and Let's move on to the bags. For my bag section, I don't really switch anything out per se for like seasons. So I'm just taking this opportunity to basically arrange them, like make them presentable visually and then also clean off the shelves, like do the dusting part because it gets real dusty. Like it gets so dusty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I, I think I'm going to give this bag to my daughter because that's what it's giving. It's giving eight year old, it's giving nine year old, it's giving 10 year old. It's cheap feeling and I haven't worn it since I got it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this reminds me of the Fendi baguette and girl, I have not worn this bag and I just don't because the quality to me is horrible. Like it just looks, it looks like my daughter should have it because she's eight. So this one is going bye-bye. It's going to the next room over to London Girl. That essentially opens up a whole new shelf for a new bag, but I don't wanna purchase any new bags because I have something on the way that I'm testing out. That I'm testing out and I can't wait till they get here so I think that shelf is going the shelf is very timely so I'm just gonna leave this pink one up here by her little lonesome I don't have another pink bag so yeah yeah so excited about it can you tell <laughs> this right here this bag I carry more than that purple bag this also reminds me of the Fendi baguette and I really like it because it's vintage one it's hand beaded it's so beautiful in person like look at the colors the fall colors I love this bag and I'm so glad I girl I think I paid what two dollars for this bag 99 cent 
I love this bag, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is what we are working with for the shoe and bag wall. I'm content with it right now. It's not perfect, but like I said, I just want to get it done. And I do need to put something in that bag. I, I think I usually keep like a shoe box in that bag for structure, so it's not slouching like that. But for the most part, this is what we have. I have some blazers from spring and summer that I'm going to unhanger, dehanger, take off the hanger and put into a bin here. The blazers that I have for fall and winter are already in their in their designated area. I have this really huge um what is this? Like a heart bin. I got it from Walmart. part about <laughs> changing over my closet is the drawers and I'm like procrastinating but I guess I can tackle this top drawer since it's really nothing in there um, and I need a place this is usually where my chunky knits live so I need to clear it out I think I'm going to put this on my Poshmark I'm I'm over this print like this um, monogram I got this from L&M it was yeah L&M and it's a cardigan and short set so I'm gonna be putting that on my Poshmark um this is more of a I love this set like I don't think I'll ever get rid of this set but it's another knit crochet uh, cardigan and short set I'm going to pack that away as well even though it is a sweater it has spring colors like baby blue pink uh, yellow and cream so I'm gonna pack that away I also feel that I'm over this but this is just a cool like sweater to have for when I'm at home and I just need some warmth it's nice and thick this is also from L&M and it has capri on the back it's like a quarter button mock neck sweater so I'm gonna keep that but I'm gonna keep this in my bedroom dresser because that's where I keep like most of my loungewear this right here is my favorite sweater of all time it is Oscar de la Renta I've thrifted it. it is a cable knit sweater it's a men's sweater and I wear it all the time with leggings and boots it's like my favorite outfit to wear in the fall to be honest so we're gonna put that in here Okay, we are at the drawers and I'm just going to take out all of, essentially all of my shorts for sure. Um, I'm gonna keep a few mini skirts, but essentially all of the, all of the shorts are going in. So now we're in my dress slash like long skirt section and um, I'm going to take out a few, oh not even falling down, I'm going to take out a few pieces that um, are definitely giving summer like this pink, this pink dress, honestly I didn't wear this all summer so next summer it has to get worn or it's gotta go. This is definitely like a summer material dress. 
the colors may give fall, but the material is definitely um, summer. This denim dress, I love. However, it's it's too big. I've only, I've worn it like, I leave the tags on my stuff, y'all. I'm so sorry. But <laughs> um, I've only worn it a handful of times. So I'm going to put this on my Poshmark. y'all it's a new day um, I got tired yesterday and took a lunch break and never restarted so um, here we are I just have this one last section to basically fix up I don't know that I'll have a lot to take out um, this is my tops section so all three of these drawers are tops starting with like tanks and then t-shirts like more casual tops and then down here are essentially like all of the fall winter tops that I kept here during the summer so I think what I'm going to do is just spruce everything up just kind of make it more neat I've gotten sloppy and was basically putting things where they don't belong so I'm going to basically just do that We're officially done with rotating the closet for fall. Before I show you the finished product, I wanted to show you my coat closet um, slash storage space. This is the closet that's inside of the bedroom. And I use it to basically store my coats and extra shoes and boots that don't fit on the, um, the shoe and bag wall. You can see my shoe, my boots lined up over here and then some sneakers that I kind of don't want on the wall and then of course my coats. So that's basically it for rotating the closet. I kind of just tidied up that area and we are officially finished. So let me show you the closet. Here we are. Everything is switched out. It's not perfect, but I'm so in and out of here all the time. Like it's never gonna be perfect so it's never gonna look like no one uses it because I use I use my clothes and I use my space and I use my closet like it's always changing so just really quickly I have my blazers my denim and as you saw earlier my boot I mean my um my shirts and tops are in these three drawers these three drawers house my bottoms my skirts in like winter shorts fall shorts and trousers in that second drawer third drawer is like denim that doesn't fit over here and over here up above up above that are my sweaters and accessories and then this section is just tops that I would prefer to hang over there is like my least favorite section but it's my long dresses and jumpsuits and things that are very long go right there and below that is just like a junk drawer for scarves sunglass cases all those things um, and then my favorite part as you guys know is the accessories wall 
pardon my light I'm not moving it because I'm tired so here is the bag and shoe wall not much has changed except for I just brought out some different boots I took some off to sell and then I added this like loafer shelf and yeah I added some booties right in here and that's pretty much it for the closet rotation okay style girl we are officially done rotating our closet for fall and winter I hope you all enjoyed this like I said this is one of my favorite videos to consume and to create hopefully this inspires you to rotate your own closet and get into your fall wardrobe to see everything that you have before you get out and start shopping for the season if you need more fall style inspiration I'll be sure to link some videos at the end screen so that you can watch and enjoy until next time style girl bye